why I'm definitely enjoying the day today, as I can tell with my new watch. Got everything set up. Let's see if we can get it here right properly. Here we go. Here's my new watch. Let's see if we get it done properly. There we go. Anyways, <laughs> I try to get it out right. Uh, it is uh, February 10th. It is, it's still within the zero hour, but it's not, it's uh, just 54 minutes into the day of uh, February 10th, 2021. It's Wednesday, and I'm fumbling around again because, uh, well, the fatigue is hitting me rather hard. It, the, the weekend all-nighter really does hit me, it hits the body, extremely difficult, the more, the the more all nighters I pull in a row, in terms of even on a weekly basis, uh, each week, each time, slows the recovery down of my body. In other words, my body doesn't bounce back as fast as it, as it, as it did the week before. And at some point in time, it just we go into a crash mode, and we sort of sit in that crash mode for a bit. <laughs> That's 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 how you know. I, I I've already listed the, the, the vlog I edited for t today, which was for January tenth and January eleventh. I missed January 9th altogether. I just it was just gone. Um, uh, I don't know where it went. I uh, I flubbed my days and said that the the tenth was the ninth and <laughs> uh that's kind of but that that when I guess when there is no Consistency of the law, no beginning or end, because you have no beginning or end to the day. And that's what happens. You, you lose track of your time. You lose track of uh, what day it is. Uh, you, you do have some degree of reminders to help you out in terms of uh, calendars and watches and uh, reminders on your calendar now. And so that does play a role and that, that does uh, uh, make a difference. But uh, overall... It's, uh, it doesn't, it, 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 you still lose days, uh, you, you look up, you sort of wake up for a bit in terms of looking around and saying, well, where did that go? You know, what, you know, when was, what, when was that in terms of somebody's birthday or someone's, uh, uh, special event or you miss things. Even though sometimes you attend them, you still miss them because you can't rem remember when they were. And that's because everything gets be such, such a blur. And so you do need to take time off. You do need to, you know, sort of mull things over to really think about things in terms of, of particularly if, if the work that you're doing is, is uh, research-oriented. You do have to sort of uh, take time to lay things out to to consider various different options in terms of how different in, bits of information connect to each other if they do indeed connect or how they connect Ooh. and I think is that even even vlogging falls, falls off. I, I noticed in some of my videos, and this is the case now, I can't keep my eyes open. It's hard for me to sort of uh, be here. But this is the way vlogging goes. It is real life. And things happen. <laughs> you know, and the thing is, my, the stuff I get in terms of the unpackaging, they're to put things away, to organize things, to... Uh, clean, help me clean the place, you know, uh, uh, sort of, du you know, sort of vacuuming the floor, then mopping the floor. So I've got two of those, uh, I haven't tried them out yet, but I did have two of them. I got the watch working, and as it does your, it does the heart rate, it does the blood pressure, it does, uh, the blood oxygen, it does the full round of sort of medical, 
uh, monitoring. So I got to see how various different foods I have, and in particular with the teas, what type of physiological effect it has. And it's, it's important because if, if you're doing extreme conditioning, you do have to sort of monitor these things because the extreme conditioning, uh, which is part of uh, uh, some of the, uh, sort of the meditation practices, these things do have do have an impact on the physiology, and they can ha if they're not done properly, they can have a negative impact. And so, you kind of want to watch and make sure that the that the meditations, in terms of the physio physiological med uh, meditations, uh, that they're not harmful, that they actually produce a benefit rather than a detriment to the uh, body itself. So. Uh, it helps. So I had uh, watches like this before, but uh, they stopped charging after a while. We'll see how long this one works for. Uh, and I'm going to compare it to a couple of the people who've got Apple watches and sort of see uh, what the quality is in terms of uh, uh, overall functionality. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave this here for now. I said I have a hard time keeping my eyes open. And we're sort of picking our vlogging back up again. Uh, particularly after the weekend, because it was so, it was, the weekend was kind of sparse. And as it did, there was, there was just a, a large period between Sunday and Monday when, uh, uh, I just had to sleep a lot. It, it, in order to catch up with my, my, uh, the sleep deprivation, I had to sleep a lot, and that sort of causes the vlog to fall off. I guess something happened is that the, the camera didn't go on. Anyways, uh, let's check the time and date. Give me a time and date stamp. Well, it is uh, 12 hours and 30 minutes into the day. Uh, Wednesday, February 10th, uh, 2021. And this is what happens. is that I just said it now. I don't know whether or not I got the 2021 right. The The... the I said the right uh, year. And then the, I, I've been using my watch. Uh, I've been able to do the blood pressure. I did, uh, I did the uh, uh, heart rate. Uh, all the vital statistics. And it worked out pretty well. It, it, it's working out pretty well. It's, it's monitoring my steps. Seeing how much I move around on a particular day. Uh, I'm going to aim for close to a thousand steps uh, on, a, on a daily basis. Because... Uh, uh, there is other work to do here, so I don't know whether I can do the 5,000 that they recommend, but if I can do a 1,000, then that should be pretty good. Anyways, a package had come in. That's what we're here for, is for a package, actually. Um, I opened it already. <laughs> that was part of the camera flub. So here's the package that came in. That's the... Uh, and this is the box it came in. And these are air po ear pods. They're a no-name brand. That's what they typically do. And they work out pretty well. And they came in its own case. So the question now is I'm going to try to uh, charge these and uh, see how they work. Well, the bird out continues. <laughs> But I do now have another pack out, package opening. It is uh, just at noon on February 12th. It's Thursday, February 12th, uh, 2021. So it's just about noon is 12 hours into the day. I'm going to get my scissors here. Here's the package. Let's see what came in. I can't remember what I ordered that's this small. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we will find out shortly. Mm. I've been sleeping a lot and having a lot of dreams, so that's a good good thing because I've been going through a lot of... Uh, I know what this is. It's a nice thing. It's a... Uh, uh, um, 
it allows uh, memory uh, 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 memory cards to behave as a uh, hard drive. This gives you your cell phone or whatever device you have, your tablet. This gives it something like, something like a hard drive. Okay, so here it is. Here's the device. Really does well. It does come with instructions, but I can't read them right now because it's uh, quite cool. I'll have to go through this and sort of see what this is and how it works, and we'll go from there. So, uh, talk to you in a bit. Well, I might as well get the vlogging down now, and before I'd have, I'd have to look at my uh, tablet, so now I can easily look at my watch. It is February 11th, and it is uh, 21 hours and 30 minutes into the day. And it looks like I'm going to have to charge my watch again after this. So, anyways, uh, it is working well. Happy with the watch, uh, happy with the way it's... Uh, uh, handling the blood pressure, and the, the, what came in earlier today, that, which I thought was something else, turned out to be a a solid state drive. Uh, it's a two terabyte drive, and it hooks up to uh, your phone or tablet, uh, turning your phone and tablet even further into a workable uh, office, uh, almost like a laptop with more than two with two terabytes of space on there. Or more, depending on how many drives you have. Uh, so it's, it's it's a good experience. I think things are moving along. There is progress. Even when you're when you're tired and going through the sleep deprivation crash, it feels like you haven't gone gotten anywhere. I mean, you feel really defeated. Uh, but that's not necessarily the case. It's just it's the feeling that comes in for when. You realize the path is so long that as much effort that you've put into it, you really haven't moved anywhere. It's you're, you're sort of in this continuous line uh, that uh, that doesn't ever that doesn't ever end. But then, and this was people often will talk about this: what is happiness, and how do you achieve it? Well, happiness really is really is it is based on an individual preference and what one but makes one person happy doesn't necessarily make the other person happy and the thing is happiness chasing happiness can become an addiction just you know uh, well shopping or any other form of addiction you chase the happiness the high that you got from the initial experience and then because the next time or whatever times later you don't achieve it you try to go, you try to go further and further and further and you never achieve the happiness that you seek to, because uh, most of the happiness in this world, in the sort of the physical world, is a temporary form of happiness. There isn't, it, there isn't a, a longer lasting, uh, it isn't longer lasting, I mean, well, any, anything that is physical, anything that's within this world is temporary. So the happiness that is generated in this world is a, hap is, is a temporary happiness that will eventually end. What we need to seek is the sort of the spiritual, but the spiritual is very difficult. Well, the spiritual is eternal. Getting to the point where we have this, we call the eternal bliss, and in Greek that's called makadis or makarios. And ironically enough, this term makarios, which means bliss, is what is used in the early Christian church in, when they speak of Greek, uh, speak of death. They talk about makarios, the bliss. So they're not talking about it in, in morbid terms, 
they're talking it more as bliss, but most people don't un understand or see it that way. We see the end of life as something horrific. And in many cases, the, the, horrific, the, horrific, the horrific perspective is one a cultural one, but at the same time, it has two certain realities to it. One, we have no idea where we're going afterwards. Whether it's going to be, ha or whether, you know, you know, afterwards, are you sure you're going to do experience Makarios, the bliss? Or, or maybe you're going to end up going someplace else, which is not Makarios. Which is not blissful. There's always that fear, but at the same time, from the perspective of the living, uh, it is a disconnect from people who have departed. And this sort of, this separating the living of, from the from the dead, so that the, the living doesn't exp don't don't understand or don't see the dead afterwards, even though they're still there. They're not really dead. They're in this sort of state of makara. So they're in uh, what's called chemesis, uh, a state of sleep. Because this is not understood, there is a sorrow. There is a sadness because you miss the things that that were. And this is always the case, even, even when one of the things that cause people fear, an enormous amount of fear, is these transition points in life. When you're transitioning from one thing, to, you're leaving one thing and moving into another, the leaving point of the transition is difficult. But moving into something new is also, also difficult as well. This is why many people avoid change. They want to keep things the way they are. And there's the whole issue of this whole, the the... the, the discomfort that comes along with transition because it brings uncertainty. Change always brings uncertainty. So most people like to keep things just the way they are, uh, even if the situation isn't necessarily the best situation for them. Uh, is the they fear they fear the change, they fear the transition more than they fear the current condition. Anyways, as I said things are going well. This is the nature of the vlog, and I will see you later. There's the bus. Well, it's just a little after 1 o'clock in the morning. It is 1 hour and 8 minutes into the day of, fr of Friday, February 12, 2021. And we're in the process of switching over uh, to the next research desk that, that's basically going to sleep and uh, seeing what occurs in the dreams over the next uh, couple of hours. It, my watch just told me that, because uh, uh, you, again, you can't tell what's going on when you're sleeping, but uh, the watch does measure your sleeping patterns. And basically... I sleep for a total of five hours in, 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 in terms of the sleep before I have to get up again. So that's my, my, my shift is five hours uh, in the dream realm. And uh, there's only the, a deep part of the sleep, the, 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 you know, the solid sleep is only close to f between three and four hours. The rest is a, sort of a light sleep, uh, not really sort of uh <laughs> so basically uh when i take a five hour break to sleep uh and go into the next go into the next research desk uh or the next uh, research and exploration uh it's not that long it, and it should be longer but it's not that's kind of the reality of things and uh and i'm gonna make more of an effort to sort of vlog the different segments it doesn't have to be long uh, and this gives you more time uh, in a more vlog-like setting, particularly as I move on to uh, other shows and do other development. Uh, it, it cuts down the overlap between uh, some of the research that I'm doing and will be presenting and what goes on in here. And so, but again, trying to vary things up, trying to uh, improve the vlog, and I said, this is a daily life. This is our daily life. And I said, I do exist as Cyborg Alpha on the internet. I do 
have that existence and uh, I'll be sharing more of that on Instagram, on TikTok, on a variety of different things uh, as I sort of move along. Well, it's a mere six hours later and I am switching places once again. While the memory is still fresh in my mind, eight hours and four minutes into the day of uh, Friday, February 12th, 2020. It was quite an adventure in which I existed as Cyborg Alpha and achieved the end goal a neutral gin. I began to see and experience the universe in an entirely new way that I had never done before. Of course this is within the dream, this is within the dream world and does not represent my current physical state. One has to bring the two states together <coughs> to be holistic, to be complete. What? Do they will be going back briefly? What's been achieved is something unusual, uh, uh, something I was happy with, but at the same time, there were issues that I would consider there were things lacking, but I didn't get enough chance to move, roll them forward. Uh, there are issues with the meditation prayers. The meditation prayers which occur within the church. The church is a home. My home. Well, I achieved one of my homes. <coughs> I failed to achieve within the home the experience of the church to a certain degree. My second home. In order to be fully complete, I would have to experience my home the church, which is the set, which is my also other home, and Boston all at the same time. I mean, Boston often pops up my pops up in the dreams so frequent that it has to be there, but at this point in time, it didn't. And that's something that I find a little bizarre, but um, maybe I just wasn't there long enough, maybe... Um, There could be a number of reasons for it, but as I said, that was an experience. We'll go back uh, in a little bit. I did manage, as in terms of physiology, I was, did manage to jam my wrist while I was sleeping. I don't know exactly what happened when I woke up. My wrist was in pain, and I still don't have the full range of motion with my wrist. So, oh. And to a certain degree, I guess, I did experience bending. I was able to do some bending, as in, uh, in The Last Avatar. It wasn't necessarily earth bending or anything like that. It was something completely different. But it was uh, uh, similar, and I did, to a certain degree, recognize this. Achieving neutral gin is extremely difficult because... You have to contain your motions no matter what presented in front of you. You may think that one 
behavior is the correct way of doing things. But in many cases, even if your anger is justified, the anger itself is not productive. It doesn't produce good results. So therefore, it's not necessarily so it's not something that's good. It's not something that is put, put, puts you in the right direction. However, at the same time, uh, one has to understand that the anger is still there, that the anger will still be one of your traps, and, and so will a number of other things, a number of other vices. These, and more, I guess that's why they call them vices, is because they trap you. They trap you in a particular a sense, a particular uh, 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 idea, a, a, a particular state of mind, uh, being trapped in anger, being trapped in, in, in an endless cycle of anger, wanting to seek revenge but never being able to seek revenge in, in order to satisfy uh, the lust to fill your anger. But yet, when you choose the neutral path, and it, it is difficult to do that. And I did. It brings me back to a neutral point. And achieving one of the things in my dreams that I often find elusive. And that's getting back to my house. Getting back to home. Getting back to a position that I am comfortable with. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will see you in a little bit, uh, probably after the next uh, exploration into the dream world.